Look at him go. All right, the other half of Gypsy, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for being here. We have Scarlett, Lily Mae, Frank, and Amber Dawn, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. You guys are a relatively new group and just a brand new song. <laughs> new is, radio. <laughs> well, okay, that's, that's probably, but you know what, it's funny you mention that because you guys have been, you guys are relatively young. Like, you're like the youngest, aren't you? How old are you? I'm 16. 16 years old. You're the oldest. 26. 26. 10 years apart. Your dad kind of, you well, you guys grew up in a house full of music. I mean, it was just... <laughs> a motor home. Uh, motor home, yeah. yeah. Right. And, and your dad kind of got you started. You all were playing fiddle, correct? Yes, and then we all started on fiddle. You all started on fiddle and then decided, you guys obviously became a group, and dad decided, good to me. we need to put some more instruments in this Ridiculous, group, right? Yeah. We needed so you picked up the guitar, you picked up the mandolin, took your show on the road. That's kind of your home. The road is the yep. home. You guys probably feel uncomfortable at home because the only thing you know is a bus. That's true. So tell us about how you got started and how your dad inspired you to get into music. Um, well, when Lily made, she, when she was three years old, our parents were out of the work that winter, and we needed a way to pay the bills. So um, there's this friend of our dad's who was a musician, and he told him that he could book our dad. Um, well, we come from Illinois originally, but we were living in Branson, Missouri at this time, and he told our dad that he could book him three months' worth of work down in South Texas, where all the RV parks are, and um, the uh, retired people go down there. And so my dad's like, book the gigs. And um, we hardly knew any songs at all, but we hit the, they got an old green and yellow motorhome, and we hit the, hit the road. You still have the old green motorhome? No. No? no. Down years ago. Oh, you got to keep that <laughs> for memory sake. We had to sell it. I mean, just think yeah, about it. You guys wait it. until you wait and you sell it after you get a number one single. No, no, but really there's some value to this down. thing, you know? <laughs> you guys really hated the green motorhome, huh? Yeah. No. So now you've kind of upgraded now to probably a big, nice bus. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. <laughs> but okay, so a nicer RV. <laughs> Not right? quite yet. Okay. I'm trying here. Can we somebody all, fork up some money and sponsor this guy the bus? We all came down here in a Beetle. this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was reading up on you guys last night, one thing that kind of caught my mind, caught my eye, was the... Being as young as you are, the musical influences that you've had of artists who are legendary. I mean, I saw where Lily May had an influence of the Everly Brothers. The Everlys? Yeah, we grew up listening to them. Well, the the Everly Brothers. I was like, wow, 16 years old and digging on the Everly Brothers. And Patsy Klein and so many other. So that was basically giving you guys this music at an early age, but you weren't really, he wasn't giving you a lot of the modern music? Is that what I understand correctly? Well, we just had so many old records in the house, and old music, old country music, classic stuff, and that's all we, you know, we played a lot of bluegrass, and a lot of festivals and things, right. And, right. and so we would just do a lot of jamming, we heard all the old songs growing up. Sure. And we loved it. One, one important question I have is, where you guys shop? <laughs> vintage is our favorite. Word? Goodwill, vintage, <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> you know, it was on your MySpace, he was talking about how, you know, gypsy, the word gypsy means a lot of different things. And it's you guys collectively. I mean, you can be individuals, it means a group, it means your fashion. Maybe you guys can talk about how you came up with the name gypsy. Well, we just, we traveled our whole lives and we were, you know, moving from state to state, traveling around the country. And so when we were kids, we were always the same band, but we'd change our band name, you know, like use a last name or a middle name and just all sorts of fun stuff. And then finally we were like, you know, we need to come up with something that is just it. And then we were like, Gypsy, and it, it matched, it, it was perfectly, it fit. Now, Amber Dawn, or is it Amber, Amber Dawn? Amber Dawn. Amber, Amber <laughs> Dawn, okay. Uh, you're kind of like personality of the group, aren't you? Uh, yeah. not, no, no, not the personality. I was watching the videos. Oh, personality. Well, you all have a great personality, but you're like the personality of the group, and I'm wondering if I should escort the the eye ring thing. That, that's I've never seen that oh, before. Yeah, um, I'm sure you get lots of comments on that. Yeah, I do. I got it. Um, let's see, eight years ago, uh -huh. and I just switch it out with a bunch of different. Whatever I feel like. That's your own niche, man. That's your own. So that's how you stand out among the rest of them. Got a new song on the radio. It's doing great. Thank you. Are you guys ready to perform? You guys, sure. do you want to do that one first, or is there another one that you want to do? Oh, 
Well, we can do that one, sure. Yeah, let's do it. This is the song that you've heard on Q104. One of the first stations to put them on the radio. I don't love you like that. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Gypsy on Q104. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That's awesome. Give it up for Chipsy! 